Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B Plus RV specialist. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. I will put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. If you follow that link, it's going to take you over to our website where you can see the pricing and the information on this unit. However, once this unit is sold, that link will be removed as that web page is no longer live. But we will still leave this video up so for potential and future customers so they can see the floor plans of these different options of small motorhomes. We are a full service dealer. We do offer warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions on those, give us a call at 419-899-2020. Alrighty, folks, it is time for the inside portion of today's video tour. We are inside of this 2001 Dynamax Carry Go. As always, I'm going to start at the front, make my way towards the rear of the coach. We're then going to come back towards the front. I'm going to try to get you a few different angles so you can get a feel for the overall space as well as the overall condition. We are a small family owned and operated dealership. My father started this business back in 1976. Myself and my brother Luke have taken over the day-to-day -day operations. Uh, this is the only chance we're going to see this from this angle here. This is the remote start for the Onan 4K gasoline generator located right there on the end of the couch. Myself and Luke have taken over the day-to-day -day operations. So if you stop in here, you're more than likely going to see me or Luke. We do consider ourselves to be a no-pressure sales place. We welcome you to take as much time as you'd like touring this one or any one of our RVs. We want you to be happy and content with your purchase. We do get a lot of first-timers, so we're more than happy to uh, show you the ropes, take some time, give you a full demo before you leave here with it, so hopefully you feel comfortable on your first RV adventure. Uh, things have been extremely busy here at Coon Truck and RV this summer. We do ask that if you need immediate assistance, please do call us at 419-899-2020. This here is a swivel chair. It does have a lock on it, so you can lock it in that position. Uh, when you get parked, you can then unlock it and swivel it however you want. We have some storage overhead here. Lots of cabinets all the way around. I'll open a few of them for you here. I'm not going to open all of them. Uh, we've got a bag here with some manuals and books in that one. We do always try to respond to your emails, YouTube comments, uh, text messages, stuff of that nature. But if you do need immediate assistance, it is best to call us. Fire extinguisher there, a couple of, or a switch for some lights. And then on the driver's side, behind the driver's seat, driver's front seat's right there, this is a jackknife sofa. We're going to be able to sleep two people here. So this is going to be a four-person unit. We can sleep two here on the jackknife sofa as well as two on the rear corner bed. Uh, this is a pretty rare floor plan for this uh, age range of Class B Plus motorhomes. Um, a Class B Plus, if you don't know, is essentially what a Class B Plus is. is it's a Class C, but just a little bit smaller. They never have the cab over bunk. Um, they got a smaller fiberglass nose cone. They are also shorter in height and a little bit narrower in width than your traditional Class C. Just making a smaller footprint Class C, essentially, and they call it a B Plus. Just a little bit smaller, more aerodynamic, uh, shorter typically in length a little bit too, not always. Uh, they do make some longer Class B+, plus, but uh, most of them typically are a little shorter. We have a single basin kitchen sink here. Two burner cooktop with a cover on top of that. Our levels gauges here are just above that with our hood, or our range, our hood light and our hood uh, fan. Excuse me, I'm having a brain fart here. Uh, water pump switch, levels test switch. So if we hold this levels test, this is going to light up our gauges, show us our battery charge, uh, LP, fresh water, holding tank one and two, which would be your black and gray water. Those are just guides. Uh, those are never 100% accurate. They're just little uh, gauges on side the tanks. They get dirty, clogged up, things of that nature. They are used, meant to be used as a guide. This does have the uh, grill to convection microwave slash convection oven, so you can microwave that in that as well as bake. thought this was kind of neat. It's a little magnetic spice rack here. Pop the lid off, put your spices, whatever you want in there. It's magnetic. It hangs on the wall there. I'm going to spin around here again. We have the thermostat for the propane furnace on the wall there. And backing up, the controls for the AC unit are directly on the unit itself. And we do have this nice uh, oak front fridge here. This is a two-way so this is going to operate on 110 volt electricity or propane gas has the separate freezer section up top 
with a nice size refrigerator on the bottom. Uh, down here is our battery disconnect switch. We've got our fuse panel and circuit breakers. We have a switch for a tank heater um, and our water heater switch right there. As you can see, there is vinyl flooring back here in this kitchen uh, bedroom bathroom area with carpet towards the front. The vinyl's in good shape. Uh, the carpet is a little faded. I'll come in a little closer on that on our way back towards the front. And then these are removable, as I just found out. Um, we have a spice rack or just for dry goods, canned food. Uh, this slides out, but lots of storage there. You store that type of stuff. Again, lots and lots of cabinets. I'm not going to open every single one. This here was designed by Dynamax to be the wardrobe. Uh, there is or could be a rod up top here to hang your clothes. The previous owner installed this shelving here. Uh, obviously, it's a, it's a homemade shelving unit. We left it in there. If you want it, uh, great. If you don't want it, take it out, pitch it. Or uh, if you want us to take it out, we can also take it out and pitch it for you if you don't want to do so. Um, there is a divider back here. Uh, this little curtain here. This is going to pull out and along this track here so you can get some privacy in the in the bedroom or the bathroom uh, from the front of the coach if you want to do that. Uh, this one here again another wardrobe. This one still has the rod up top. You can hang some shirts or folded pants in there. Lots of storage over top of the bed. Uh, the one thing that does make this rear like I said this is a 23 and a half foot unit. Uh, with an actual bed. Typically when you get in these smaller B plus style units, you're gonna be sleeping on the couch, the dinette, uh, things of that nature. So this is kind of rare to have a short B plus unit that has an actual dedicated bed. This one does have the wet bath, which is in the driver's side rear corner. A wet bath combines your toilet, shower, and bathroom sink all in one. Those have this really nice molded fiberglass seat here. Um, so you can sit there or you can stand while you take your shower. This whole area here is a fiberglass drain pan. Then have your bathroom sink there and your shower head. Uh, with skylight, let's little a natural light in as well as a lighted ring around that and a small fan in that skylight. Did you guys hear about the new corduroy pillows that they're making? They're really making headlines. <laughs> um, Back at it here. Um, again, the kitchen area is on the passenger side of the unit. Swivel chair there. The carpeting here uh, does have some fading. Originally, this carpet would have been a purplish color, which you can kind of see more up here. Underneath the couch, it's all faded out. Um, this has all been steam cleaned, scrubbed. Uh, this is as clean as we get it. Most of it's not really necessarily dirt. Most of it's just fading and... Uh, wear and tear over the years that this carpet has changed colors. Uh, there's a couple spots where I'm sure there's a little bit of staining. Uh, we just like to point them out, call them as they are. Um, it's a 2001, so it's normal wear and tear, what would be expected on a 2001. Um, this is not a brand new unit by any means. And getting to my rating that I normally do in all these videos, uh, it's a 2001. Uh, we've got roughly 65,000 miles. This is it's an average motorhome. There's nothing that makes this thing stand out from the one next to it. Uh, it is relatively clean. Things are pretty straight. There's nothing that's uh, broken or damaged per se, uh, but it does have wear and tear for a 2001. Uh, so with that in mind, I'm going to call this thing probably about a seven. Uh, this was a trade-in. Again, it's not a new unit. It is a 2001. It is 19 years old. Um, we try to describe and show everything to the best of our ability and the best of what we see. There are storage on either side of the TV here. Uh, when we originally got this unit traded in, it had the big old tube style TV. I told Michael, one of the guys that worked for me, let's let's utilize this space. Uh, we've done this a couple times before. Uh, he built this door here, which we mounted a flat screen TV onto, which gives you the accessibility to use all this storage space here of what would have been used for one of those big old school uh, boat anchors, if you want to call it that, the big, big TVs. Uh, so that flips up. You can access and utilize that storage. Again, I'm not trying to beat a dead horse. This is a 2001. It's not beat up, but it does show uh, its age a little bit. It does show some wear and tear. Chevy chassis, which is hard to find on motorhomes. Most of them tend to be Fords. Um, 2001, we have power windows, locks, tilt, cruise, uh, CD player. 
pretty well loaded up with the exception of power mirrors. Mirrors are manual. If you have any questions on this one, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. All right, we're gonna run around the outside of this Dynamax Carry Go. We are 23 and a half feet from bumper to bumper. We have six brand new tires, an 11 foot awning. This sits on the Chevy 3500 chassis. It is powered by the 7.4 liter V8 engine. Dynamax Carry Go. Dynamax is known for building some high quality, high end coaches. Uh, this is the 2310 floor plan. Starting off here, we have the water heater, a couple of exterior outlets, a pretty good sized storage compartment here in the passenger's rear corner. Got the crank and the center support arm for the awning, as well as the shore power cord. Uh, this unit, uh, as you can see up there, the cab is pretty shiny. Uh, the back end of this, the white, uh, cleaned up pretty nicely, but the stripes, uh, being a 2001, the stripes on this thing are faded and cracked. I'm gonna drop this door here so you can see the rest of that stripe. Uh, the black is cracked. The gold here, tan, is pretty well gone. Uh, but the fiberglass itself is in pretty good shape. It cleaned up pretty nicely. Still has a decent luster to it. Uh, not bright and shiny like new, uh, but it's not super dull. Did a little bit of damage here on the rear corner on the bumper. Coming around to the back of the coach, we have the tow package right down here. Got a ladder so you can get up on the roof, your spare tire. Uh, this one here is mainly plumbing. You could stuff a couple things in here if you wanted to, but this is pretty much to get to access to the plumbing for your wet bath. Coming on to the driver's rear corner here, we have our valves and our hookup here to dump our black and gray water tanks. We're gonna fill our onboard fresh water tank here as well as our city water hookup. Uh, this side is the same as the, uh, pretty much the same as the passenger side. The fiberglass is all nice and white and clean. That cleaned up real nicely. Uh, but again, the stripes are faded and cracked, which is pretty typical on a unit of this age. We just try to point it out. We try to be honest. We try to call them like we see them. Uh, we have storage here for our sewer hose, our gasoline tank, which is a little cracked there. It uh, doesn't hurt the functionality, but it is cracked. Vent and access to the back of the refrigerator. We're gonna hook up our shore power cord here. Uh, this guy here is a vent for our battery because our battery is located underneath the sofa inside. Vent and access to our propane furnace, the propane tank itself. And lastly, we have our Onan 4K gasoline generator. Mm -hmm.